Beach Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Cliff Dwellers. Clutch and company are just returning from their last adventure. This used to be a mighty wild country in the days of the old west. I sure hate to have to make a fourth landing around here. Oh. I shouldn't have spoken. That engine's going to quit. Brace yourselves for a crash landing. That's all we can do. Stone spinner. Why would there be a road like this way out here, Clutch? Some old Indian civilization must have built it. Gee. Well, I, I've got to check the engine, find out what's wrong. The carburetor float was stuck. Stop the gas from getting through. Are we going to take off now? Afraid not, Spinner. The landing gear got broken when we landed. It'd never stand the strain of a takeoff. We're going to have to find something to repair it with. Maybe this road leads to a town or something. One way to find out, Spinner. Come on. Clutch! Look! There's a kind of city over there. That's an old Indian cliff dwelling village, Spinner. I wonder if anyone's there. Look at how the road goes to it. Guess it's the only way to get across this canyon. Gosh! Isn't that something, Clutch? Yeah. It's a natural bridge formed out of sandstone. It looks awful thin at the top. Do you think it's safe to cross it? Hope so, Spinner. We've got the chances. Clutch and Spinner start across the slender bridge. Run, Spinner. The bridge is giving way. Clutch, wait! There's Paddlefoot! There he is. Back on the other side. He's afraid. Paddlefoot! Paddlefoot! Quick! Come on. Run for your lives. From now on, Paddlefoot. How do we get back to the plane, Clutch? Don't know, Spinner. But we'll have to keep on to that village now. By golly, Spinner, we've stumbled onto a village of a lost Indian tribe. Look over there, Clutch. Is it a cave? No. That's a door to a cliff house, Spinner. They built their houses right into the rock. No telling how old it is. Looks completely deserted. Gee, I hope nothing bad happened to all the people. Fire, or floods, or disease. Anyway, there's no one here now. What the? Run! Is that arrow just a warning for Clutch and Company? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Cliff Dwellers. Last time, Bunch and Company developed engine trouble and were forced to land on the site of an ancient Indian cliff dwelling village. They had started to investigate when suddenly. Gee, I hope nothing bad happened to all the people. Maybe fire or floods or disease. Anyway, there's no one here now. Behind the rock spinner. Hurry! From the angle of that arrow, it was shot from one of those cliff houses. I thought this place was deserted, but I'm wrong. Somebody doesn't want us here. Gee, maybe there's a whole tribe of them here. Maybe. But I don't see any movement up there. Come on, spinner. I'm curious now. We're going to explore those cliff houses. With great caution, Clutch and Spinner make their way to an ancient ladder. Easy does it, Spinner. 
be as quiet as you can. At the top, they find a door at the end of a balcony. You think that's where the arrow came from, Crunch? I wouldn't be surprised, Spinner. Stick close. We'll have a look. Look. Someone's been hurt. Is he an Indian? An Indian chief, Spinner. I don't think he's badly hurt. Just stunned. There we are, fella. Take it easy. Everything's going to be all right. Something hit me on head. Whoever did it hit you pretty hard. Did you get a good look at him? Sure, me got good look. Him have paint stripes on face, headdress with cow horns. Let's go after him. We'll help you. You are good friends. We go down and look. Maybe we find trail. Down in the courtyard, Spinner finds a clue. Clutch, look! Footprints! This white man's shoes. Bad witch doctor wear white man's shoes. My golly, you're right. A pale-faced witch doctor. Now, what would a white man want here? Him want ancient treasure that is buried here. Me tell him the spirits of the dead guard treasure. No one know where it is. Spirits no want anyone find it. Golly, Clutch. A hidden treasure and ghost. <laughs> Clutch. Clutch? You Clutch Cargo? That's right. Me hear about you from Princess Granddaughter. She tell me about your adventure logbook. Me, Chief Running Horse. Much please meet you. Do you live here alone, Chief? Yes, tribe go away. Land no good for food now. Me and Princess Granddaughter all alone. Where's your granddaughter now? Oh, me forget. She was down here when bad witch doctor come. I sure hope she's all right. Clutch! I think I hear something. You did hear something, Spinner. It's the Chief's granddaughter. There, Clutch, at the top of that high cliff. It's coming from there. Will the Indian princess be thrown from the cliff? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. unconscious, and his princess granddaughter held captive by the bad witch doctor. As they began to hunt for the princess... Clutch, I think I hear something. You did hear something, Spinner. It's the chief's granddaughter. At the top of that high cliff. It's coming from there. Come on, Spinner. Not a moment to lose. But how? How are we going to get way up there? Trail easy to follow. It go up round back up cliff. But it rough. Take horses, Indian ponies, fast as lightning. Indian ponies. Clutch and company start out along the trail. Sorry, Clutch. I hope we get there in time to save the chief's granddaughter. I hope so too, Spinner. We just have to hope for the best. Meanwhile, the bad witch doctor has climbed to the top of the cliff by a secret route. Why'd you let the girl holler like that? Gee, boss, I couldn't help it. She just ran away from me. Before I knew it, she was hollering. That's the trouble with hired help these days. Can't depend on them for anything. Anyway, this witch doctor rig worked fine. Scared the old chief, but good. Gee, boss, that's great. Wish I could have seen it. You, you've been a big help. Do you know who that guy is down below? Clutch Cargo. I ran up against him one time, and I've been trying to forget it ever since. Now look what you've done. He's on his way up here. Well, boss, I wouldn't have had it happen for nothing in the world, but now that it has, what do we do? Get rid of the coil. We'll tie her in the cave and let Cargo look for her. We'll go back down and get the old man. 
We'll make him tell us where the treasure is, or my name ain't Switchblade. Please, please, kind sir, don't harm my grandfather. That'll be enough out of you. Come on, Tuffy, into the cave. Cargo will be here any minute, and we want him to find her. Not much farther, Spinner. I think we're almost there. Well, I guess you ain't gonna take no walk. And something tells me you ain't gonna holler out to warn Cargo Nita. <laughs> you said it, boss. There's the girl's headdress on the ground in front of the cave where Cargo can't miss it. They'll go into the cave looking for the girl. And then, do you know what, Tuffy? What, boss? See that big boulder? Yeah, boss. It's just waiting to roll down and block the entrance. Once they go in there, they'll never get out. No, no, Wait, huh, boss? Right, Tuffy. I think I hear them now. Get behind the boulder, and when I holler, push. I hope we're not too late to save the princess. Around. That's what I expected. They're gone. They've been here all right. Look at the tracks. You're right. Well, we can never follow them. The tracks are in this little bit of dirt. The rest is solid rock. Can't see footprints on rock. Clutch, look. There's a cave. Do you think she's in there? And look, there's her hat right outside. Quiet, Spinner. And be careful. You too, Battlefoot. We'll see what's inside here. Do you think it's okay for us to go in? No! Clutch! Will Clutch and Company and the Princess get out alive? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Cliff Dwellers. Last time, Clutch and company started for the top of the cliff to find the princess. When they arrived, the bad witch doctor, who really is Switchblade, a criminal, and Tubby, his helper, pushed a rock off the cliff. How are we going to get out? The entrance is closed up by a rock. It's solid, all right. Can't budge it. Do you suppose those men did it? Yes. Must be at least two of them. They want to get us out of the way so they can force the chief to tell them where the treasure is. But he doesn't know, does he? No. But they don't seem to believe him. <laughs> What's that? It's coming from over there in the corner. Clutch! It's the chief's granddaughter. Here. Take it easy. You'll be all right. Okay, Tuffy. They're in there for keeps. Now we'll go down and deal with the old man. Say, boss, how about that story about the ghost getting after anybody who tries to steal the treasure? You don't believe that stuff, do you? Well, I, uh, <laughs> guess not, Switch. Come on, let's get going. We'll take their horses and ride down in style. You know, anyway, out of this place, I was never in here before. The opening's jammed up tight. There's only that shaft in the roof that's letting the light in. But it's much too high to reach. Clutch! Look at Paddlefoot! Perhaps your little dog has found something. Clutch! I can feel air coming through this crack in the rock. There may be a hole in the wall. Maybe I can loosen this door. He's giving a little. Look out. Stand back, all of you. The wall, Sally. Maybe it's a way out of this cave. We'll see where it leads to, anyway. Good boy, Paddlefoot. You found it. Wow! Look at that! Sure never expected to find anything like this here. Has your grandfather seen this? I don't think so. But in our tribe, stories of a great secret meeting place have been passed down from father to son. Sure is kind of spooky here. You know, I think we're going to have some fun with the old chief, boss. Then we'll pile the treasure in the truck and be on our way. In spite of the spooks, eh, boss? Yeah, we'll make that old man talk all right. Those are the masks of the dead, and 
and the spears they use in the happy hunting grounds in the sky. <laughs> Don't be scared, Paddleford. It's not really too spooky. Clutch! Look at that! Look at the eye! Must be some kind of light behind it. But there couldn't be after all these years. Wait a minute. So that's the answer. There's a window back of it. I'll lift you up on my shoulders, Spinner. Maybe you'll be able to see outside. Up we go. I can see down in the courtyard where we were with the chief. They've got the chief tied to a post. Oh, my poor grandfather. We've got to get down there some way. But how, Clutch? I don't know, Spinner. We're trapped. Oh, we must find a way. We've got to save him. Can Clutch and Company save Chief Running Horse? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Cliff Dwellers. You remember last time, Clutch and Company reached the top of the cliff to find the princess and the bad men gone. Inside a cave, they found the princess, but could find no way out. They've got the chief tied to a post. Oh, my poor grandfather. We've got to get down there some way. But how, Clutch? I don't know, Spinner. We're trapped. Oh, those awful men. They'll do something terrible to my grandfather. We've got to find a way out. <laughs> that shield, Princess. What kind is it? That is an old shield of escape. A shield of escape? Hmm. I wonder. Hand me one of those spears, Princess. What you gonna do? I'm going to see if I can pry this shield away from the wall. Stand back. It's heavy. Clutch pries at the edge of the shield and gets a hold. That's the way out, all right. Oh, oh. Now, everybody grab a mask, a blanket, and a spear, and hurry. But me tell you, me not know where treasure is. So you won't talk, eh? Go to the truck and get my bull whip, Tuffy. Okay, boss. Okay. Everyone all set? Yes, so, Clutch. Now what do we do? We all head for the courtyard where they've got the chief. We've got to make them think we're Indian spirits. Got that? You bet, Clutch. Then we do Indian war hoops, huh? Right. The spookier, the better. Now, let's put on the masks. Boy, I can hardly wait to see their faces. I know what you mean, Spinner. But you should see yours. <laughs> okay, we've given you your chance. Now, if me knew, me would tell you. I'm gonna give you just one more chance to tell where that treasure is. Wait, boss, what was that? What was what? Dad! Just the wind whistling through them old empty buildings. Maybe so, boss, but it's blowing something this way. Looky! I'll tell you, Indian spirits. Zowie, you're right. Let me out of here. Me too! Treasure. And they found it by accident. <laughs> Look, buried treasure. Shut up, kid. It ain't funny. I know those two. They're both wanted for robbery. Me fix them good. Me take them to sheriff. We was only kidding all the time. Well, what? Golly, I didn't know that. Shut up, you idiot. Well, Chief, you've got your granddaughter back. And a million dollar treasure, too. I don't know how to thank you, Clutch and Spinner. Me use money for restoring Cliff Village. And don't forget Paddlefoot. Without him, we'd still be in that cave. And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Cliff Dwellers. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.